Here she is. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Well, it's great to be in Iowa. It's great to fight with the governor. And frankly, it's great to fight with a lot of mamas across the country because mamas are really fired up, I have to say, and grandmamas. By the way, when the governor was reelected, we did a big initiative in the state of Florida. We did a Mamas for DeSantis. And we said, we are going to sign up one million moms to support the governor. And we didn't meet our goal of one million moms. We actually signed up 1.1 million moms to support and reelect the governor, which was great. And by the way, we had a great contingencies of grandmoms too, the villages. They were our huge stronghold. So it's not just the mamas, it's the grandmamas. But you know, I heard a recurring theme. It was, you know, it's one thing when your policies come after me. It's another thing when you're coming after our children. That's when we start fighting back. And I think there are a lot of moms across the country and grandmoms who are going to sign up to support this governor because he is the one that's fighting to protect our children. So I'm happy to be here for a lot of reasons, one of which I'm very happy to talk to somebody older than the age of five. So this is date night for us tonight, by the way, because we have our kids are, are being watched. Thankfully, Grandma's always on hand to be able to help us with that, which is such a blessing. Um, but we have, as he mentioned, we have the three little ones. So we have six, five, and three. Mamie, first baby born to a sitting governor in more than 60 years. She is the little spitfire. She runs the place. Don't anybody tell you that it's the governor who's running the operation. It's our three-year-old. By the way, if you're wondering, and I mentioned this yesterday, if I'm sounding a little hoarse, it's because I had a very long, in-depth conversation with that three-year-old as to why we cannot color on the dining room table with permanent marker. You know, it's funny, you see these pens that the governor will use to sign various bills. Well, those permanent markers then come back and they all accumulate near the dining room table. And so we have tried to encourage them not to use those whatever. And you know, we also are very fortunate. We live in a, in a great place, the governor's residence, but it's a little bit like living in a museum, right? So it's like that MasterCard commercial plays in my head. You get a bill at the end of his tenure, right? This costs this much to destroy Florida's irreplaceable history. This costs this much. This is priceless, right? So you know, trying to corral small children uh, has been a challenge, but it's also been a blessing. And it's one of the reasons why we fight so hard because we're fighting for their future and we're fighting for your children and your grandchildren's future. All right, guys. So here's the thing about Casey DeSantis and, and definitely without wandering into these Trump versus DeSantis waters, which I'm completely uninterested um, in being in as I am not a paid operative for either of one of these candidates. What I will say about Casey DeSantis is that she's an absolutely fabulous woman. She is a great surrogate for Ron DeSantis and she is somebody that is very compelling, very appealing, um, who understands fashion, who understands a lot of the different intricacies that come with being a potential first lady. She's already the first lady. She's the first lady of Florida. Um, so she's very good at, uh, at all of these things. And like I said, without getting involved in the Trump versus DeSantis stuff, I do believe that she's fundamentally compelling. Um, she's compassionate. And I think that no matter what happens, uh, in the Trump versus DeSantis war for the nomination in 2024, this is somebody, Casey DeSantis, I believe that should be a superstar um, in, in not only conservative politics, but American politics in the future, particularly as a voice for conservative women. I truly believe in, in having interacted um, with, with Casey on a couple of different occasions. I truly believe that she is a superstar in the making and she is exactly um, who we need to be representing conservative women and conservative values, I would say in, in 2023 and beyond. So she's very compelling and good for her.